what's going on guys this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a password generator in java this password generator concept can be integrated with the user registration application which i already show you by the way check the previous video so in the user registration application we prompt the user to enter their password which by the way is not a good practice because user may enter such a password which can be easily guessed and crack by the others so it's better to generate the password for the user from our own application the generator password is more secure than the user enter password that's why we call this application as a password generator so let's do it first of all open netbin id i am using netbin id and go to file click on new project and then select java with maven and then click next and then give the project name And then click finish now expand this directory and right click over there new and then click on jframe forms and then you can also give the class name here and then click on finish now expand this uh, j form a little bit and from the control panel drag and drop some control like labels and then text field and then some checkbox and then one button now Select this label and from the property window, you can actually change the uh, text. So here, the label goes password generator and then click OK. Expand this text box little bit and erase this text, click OK now checkbox it is them also little bit and you can actually change the variable name right click change variable name and here goes txt result and then uh, change the text of this checkbox also here goes six character we are going to generate a different length of password so Six character password and then here goes 10 character password and finally here goes 12 character passwords we are going to generate a different length of password here now select the button and then change the button text to generate now first of all i am going to write the code for generating the default password length that is eight character length password and then later uh, we are going to use if else statement uh, in which if the user select this uh, six character checkbox then we are going to generate only six characters of uh, password and then similar for 10 character and 12 character so double click that generate and inside here what i am going to do is i am going to write the code uh, for generating password and then uh, later we are going to define on function and call that function in if else statement so let's do it first of all i am going to define the length so uh, integer length is equal to 8 and then i'm going to define uh, a string a string valid character is equal to a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q q r s t u b w x y z 
and then the capital alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z and then the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is the combination of alphabet and numeric that is alphanumeric character we are going to generate our password from these characters and then i am going to use string builder class string builder st is equal to new string builder and then here we are using string builder rather than the standard string because later uh, we are going to use a while loop and inside that while loop we are going to use the string builder append method but if you use the standard string what uh, it will happen is each time you append the string it will create the new variable that means uh, we already know that string is immutable and string builder is mutable that means uh, if you add the new value to the same string variable then uh, it will generate new variable that means it will allocate new memory location so that may cost a lot of memory so that's why we use string builder here and i'm going to use while loop while zero is less than length minus minus until the length is uh, not equal to zero what we are going to do is we are going to append the string so st dot append we have append method string dot append and then we are going to find the uh, character that means the index of this valid character so valid character dot uh, character 8 and then what we are going to do is we are going to use the random number generation so we are going to use a random class here random rand is equal to new random and here character 8 random dot next int and then uh, we are going to uh, provide the length of this valid character uh, string so valid character dot length uh, we got some error here so what we can do is uh, it's we going to provide double quotes here oh it shows uh, yeah, error here because we did not import uh, the random class so inside a uh, good over the package and import java dot util dot random and now that error must be gone there you go and outside this loop what we are going to do is we are going to set the result to the text field so txt result dot set text and here goes st dot to string that's all now what is going inside this while loop is we are going to append the string and the valid character dot 8 character means yeah, it will going to find the index and the random number generate uh, from this rand dot next int and the seed we are going to give is the length of this string now just run it right click run file now click and generate random number must be random password must be generated here generate uh, you can see there is a different password each time we click on generate now what we are going to do is we are going to write the code so that when the user click this six character checkbox and click on generate only six character password must be generated in this text box and when the password uh, click on 10 character password then only 10 character uh, password length must be generated in this text box so 
similar for twelve character. So let's do it. First of all, go to design, and I write here ten character password, not password, only ten character. Okay. Now go back to source, and in order to do so, what we are going to do is we are going to use if else statement and uh, is. Uh, inside this if else statement what we are going to do is we are going to copy entire code from here to here and paste over each block of if else statement which we should not do because this lead to the duplication of code so we need to remove the duplication of code in order to remove the duplication of code what we can do is we can uh, create one function and call that function inside its if else statement outside of this uh, button click event we are going to write one function so here public public void pass generator and we are going to define function with parameter so int length and inside this function we are going to copy this entire code from here to here and paste inside here and inside this button clicking event we can write if j checkbox first of all let me see the variable name of this checkbox j checkbox one j box one dot each set is set if this checkbox is clicked what we are going to do is we are going to call this function pass generator and pass the length six character length and else if user uh, select this another checkbox two dot is selected what we are going to do is again call this function and pass the length 10 character else if j box three dot is set selected if this checkbox is selected we can call this function and pass the length two bells otherwise else it if uh, user did not select any of this checkbox we are going to generate the default password length that is 8 character length so right click run file now here i'm going to click on generate password is generated and the length of the password is 8 character now i'm going to select this 6 character and click on generate we must see only 6 character password length 2 4 and 6 and again i am going to select this 10 character click on generate i must see 10 character password length and click on 12 i must see 12 character length of password so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these amazing tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel and please subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye